Christian Zionism is a way to interpret um, books from the Bible um, and certain uh, verses. And um, you take these verses and you look at it very much in the light of, of the state of Israel, actually. And um, so we start with, um, it is Israel from the Nile to the Euphrates. The state of Israel needed to be established again, and of course we saw that happen in 1948, but it is greater Israel, and all of that land should be for the Jewish people. The Jewish people should return to live there. The third temple should be rebuilt, um, and um, that there will be uh, uh, things that happen in, in history leading up to now these last days. It includes the rapture, where the Bible-believing Christians leave this earth in an instant. They are taken away from the earth. And then there's seven years of Armageddon, of the last battle, and Megiddo is a very important um, place on the earth for that uh, event. Um, and, and there's also the emphasis on converting Jews to Christianity as well. So you have the, that whole movement um, to see that conversion amongst that people group. And then uh, after the seven years, the last great battle, um, and having the temple being rebuilt, Jesus will come back and he'll go through the Golden Gate and, and to usher in. Um, the next millennium. Is, is part, and I didn't explain that very well. No, no, that's perfect. <laughs> is, is part of theology to advance the Armageddon? Yes, yes. And so you have people involved with this um, uh, movement, uh, this thinking, which do not look for there to be a peaceful settlement in the Middle East at all. To the contrary, they get excited about um, the wars in the Middle East. And so you'll have even the American foreign policy that has been flu influenced by this um, uh, view as to what should be happening in the Middle East. So for instance, Gaza should never have been um, evacuated by the settlers. The, the Jewish people need to stay on that piece of land. And that's why you have the settlement movement going across um, the West Bank, the occupied territories. So the Christian Zionists actually fund the settlements. It's a way to get the Jewish population spread around um, the Holy Land for them. Okay, one more question, very briefly. Um... From somebody who's from the outside who hasn't heard any about anything about this, uh, yes. um, and is trying to grapple with it for the, for the first time, yes. uh, my thinking would be first of all, if a group wants their prophet to come back, yes. um, you know, in the same way that if you're expecting a visitor, you would yes. tidy up the house yes. rather than blow it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, it makes you think um, <clears throat> this um, interpretation, yes, and, and this is something which was very troubling for me. My idea was Jesus' message was one of peace and love, inclusiveness, going out for the poor, the sharing of, of wealth, of looking after one another, but outworkings of Christian Zionist theology was one of separation, it was one of dominance, it's one of colonialism, it's one of war, of people rising up against others, uh, which is very violent as well, and, and the way it's happening in the Middle East. Um, so, uh, in the way we got our house in order was to be praying for this, for the end days, and you're rejoicing in something like this happening. Uh, so so when, you, when you push the boundaries of this and actually get people to think more in depth about what Christian Zionist theology is, 
you know, you wonder how anybody can believe it at all. But in fact, in the last 30 years, it grew into an enormous movement, uh, especially in America, but in other countries as well. Thankfully, in the last few years, there are some evangelical Christians that are being pushed to think more deeply about this type of interpretation of scripture. And they are starting to say, you know what? There is something wrong in this. We've got but um, it, you can be very insular if you're in a, the Christian Zionist movement. I mentioned before, you're, you're almost spoon-fed. You're told what to believe. You, you don't mix so much with other people and, and get exposed to different interpretations of scripture or, or even to do with many other issues in the world today. You're not so worried about the environment. Why, why worry? Because we're in the last days. So you can continue driving your SUVs and um, polluting the world or, or not taking care of resources.